Since the inaugural event in 2007, the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League has been an unqualified success. Now an eight-division structure, lesser-known cricket countries have an opportunity to progress on a national scale, giving hope to every associate and affiliate and beyond. Nepal might seem an unlikely setting for the resurgence of American cricket, but here they began their journey to the 2015 ICC World Cup under a new chief executive and better prepared than ever before. Being able to put in the right people at the right place at the right time, like we got a new CEO who's doing very well for our cricket, and there's a lot of youngsters that are coming through that should get an opportunity in the future, but we right now have to make the stepping stone and that's what we're trying to do to bring the cricket to a higher level in the United States. And for us to do that, we ha we'll have to win more tournaments and be more prepared in terms of how we approach our game and stuff like that. So I think we are the new class right now. So by we setting the level and taking US cricket forward would be a very great achievement for us. For me personally, I don't like to lose. Whenever time I step on the pitch, it's just business. And we just have to just believe in ourselves. Ability has never been the problem. Perhaps it was the spiritual quality of their surroundings, but for the first time, the players and governors appeared to be united in their pursuit of success. We do have a talent in the United States. Um, I mean, people come in from India, Pakistan, um, England, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, West Indies, I mean, throughout the Caribbean. Um, and there are guys that have played I mean, uh, a good level of cricket back home um, and have migrated to US. Uh, but uh, the main focus is to get the cricket into the young generations, into the school. But um, we can definitely go ahead and uh, compete with any one of the teams in the world, um, preparing for it. Uh, it is a hard task, but um, we can achieve, we can achieve. Uh, we do have a couple of facilities, very nice facilities, but uh, uh, as you know, U.S. has 50 states and uh, if we, our team has to get together. Our home ground is in Florida, so some of our guys from West Coast uh, take some about eight hours flight just to get there. So. Uh, it's a little difficult, but uh, our organization, plus, like I said, uh, um, from the last past couple of years, they have been improving day by day. Playing in front of a huge crowd gave the USA team a little taster of what's to come. The current side has a huge role to play. Future generations may enjoy greater comforts, but every victory this team achieves, every headline they write, adds credibility and profile. U.S. is national talent, you know, you got, we got people from in the Caribbean, Asian, it's natural, you know, so if we could get the right, you know, chemistry for these guys, you know, the U.S. can be a very hard team to beat in this world. The size of the territory and the population um, makes it uh, extremely interesting for us. Um, there are lots of uh, expats playing cricket uh, in the States, particularly people from the Caribbean, um, lots of um, West Indians playing cricket there. And it is already uh, one of our biggest markets in terms of, uh, you know, listening in and internet hits and so on. So I believe that we have um, a base there upon which to build. If the people of the United States can be convinced, the presence of a US team in global tournaments could have huge financial implications. The potential in the USA is absolutely huge and it is very, very exciting to be coming into it at a time when these guys seem to be getting, getting things together, um, you know, facilities like this and things like that and, and then the national team is playing well um, and you know, it seems to be that it's, it is drip feeding down into some of the other areas, the colleges and hopefully into the schools and whatever. So as I say, potentially cricket in the US could be huge. Cricket doesn't need to make a huge dent in popular culture to be successful. The size of the territory and number of existing supporters tells you that. 
international fixtures are on their way to start the process. The Indian Premier League may follow. With the weather we have in Florida, you know, we can absolutely play cricket in the United States 24-7, 12 months a year. We don't have an off-season. When it's too hot here, it's perfect in New York. When it's cold in New York, it's perfect in California. So we don't have an off-season. And uh, as a neutral venue, we want, to, we want to help the global cricket calendar expand. When people are saying it's too crowded, it's because there's places in the world you can't play cricket at a certain time of year. But if they'd come to the United States, they can continue playing. We know that America creates winners, stars who can handle pressure and expectation. With professional contracts, cricket players would be different animals entirely. From a playing point of view, I think, you know, what would really drive us and motivate us as players is if, you know, one day, you know, we can have a central contract and, you know, we can do, we can play cricket full time in us to, I mean, the recreational sport it is as of now. So I think, you know, what, it pretty much boils down to money. You know, once the association can, you know, get the money and let's say contract 20 of the best players in America and have us, you know, maybe do some coaching and help to impart whatever knowledge, you know, I think that will be beneficial. But like I said, you know, we're very hopeful and we're very optimistic that that can happen in the near future. We have most of our players, not only it's for the love of the game, but it's a lot of sacrifices, you know, better players, some of them are young in their careers, They've got young families, a lot of sacrifices without financial reward. So it's a, it's a labor of, of love. You know, it, you know, it's a lot of love with this type of labor. You know, you gotta like it, you gotta love it. Until that day arrives, life will continue to be tough for current players. But a link up with New Zealand cricket should see benefits. Any time you can be recognized by one of the full, member, full members of the ICC, it's a good thing. Um, because that full member obviously have got their own issues, their own concerns, their own developmental programs. But for them to embrace what we're trying to do in U.S. cricket, it certainly is a good thing. And I think it, it sort of opens the door for us to interact with other full members and other members of the 104 member ICC um, body in saying that, look, um, New Zealand and us have formed a collaborative partnership that can benefit U.S. cricket as well as benefit um, New Zealand. New Zealand cricket is one of our best structured boards. So New Zealand cricket's governance is of the highest order. That will help to begin with. And then, of course, New Zealand have coaches, talented coaches, and, and, and they will provide important input um, uh, for, 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 for the U.S. Um, administrators uh, because coaching is key um, to having people in large numbers play the game more seriously and at a better level. And when I say more seriously, I mean with plenty of fun and entertainment uh, for themselves and for spectators too. The Americans tend to do things bigger and better than any country in the world. A bit of Broadway magic is just what the game needs to take off. Essentially what we found is that there is a continued interest uh, from uh, the Australians, uh, from New Zealand, from the Caribbean uh, countries uh, in uh, watching cricket. So essentially what we found out is our audience is not just simply the uh, Asian market, uh, whether it be uh, the Pakistanis or the Indians, uh, some British. It's actually extending as people learn more and more about the cricket game. When we have a compelling story, then broadcasters are going to find our matches interesting to cover, which is going to mean sponsors are going to be interested to cover, which means that fans are going to find it interesting to buy a ticket or watch it on television, which is going to get a school kid to say, I'm going to trade my baseball bat for a cricket bat. That's what happens in America. It's the land of the free, the home of the brave. The Americans aren't approaching this challenge with caution. That wouldn't be their style. Test cricket is my dream. And if I have to play a uh, United States test cricket team, that would be a dream come through. When cricket left American shores all those years ago, not many predicted its return. 
But right across America, the call to duty is sounding loudly to bring back the game they lost and create a new dynasty. The system, the structure is in place. Sporting excellence, a fundamental part of American culture. Now cricket has the right people in charge, new facilities and a wealth of talent. The rest of the world beware, the Americans are coming.